Hello, my name is Jake from Firestorm Games, and I'm here today with another Tabletop Spotlight. Today we're looking at Disney's Hocus Pocus the card game. So this is based on the movie from the 90s, and completely honestly, when this turned up, I knew I had to pick up a copy for my wife, because she is a massive fan of the film. Large nostalgia involved there, she made me sit down and watch it, and it's interesting. Yep. This is a 2-6 player co-op. It is pattern building, a little bit of set collection. It's set in the movie world, you are all trying to ruin the witch's potions. So they are trying to create the perfect potion, and you need to throw in ingredients to ruin said potion. Over the course of a hand, you will play a card which matches either the colour or the symbol into the pot. There's five different spaces available, and you're trying to stun the witches. So you've got Sarah, Winifred, and Mary on her vacuum cleaner. Uh, and they have different um, conditions to be stunned. So Mary is stunned if all the ingredients match, whereas Sarah it's if all the colours match, and Winifred it's uh, if all the ingredients match and all five colours are visible, so she's the hardest one to stun, which makes sense with those teeth. If you manage to do that, you stun the witch and you win the round. And if you win three rounds, you win the game. As a bonus, whichever witch you stunned, that one can't do anything for the next turn. So you turn over these cards, these are the witches trying to stop you, and if they come up with effects based on whichever one you've stunned, you get to skip that, which is great. As a word of warning, there are ways for them to come unstunned, for lack of a better term, mid-round, and that can really mess up your plans. I would describe this as a Hanabi light sort of game. You can't specifically discuss what's in your hands, but you can ask a generic question once per round each. So, how's everybody feeling about Eye of Newt? Anybody got any toes? Things like that. How's pe how are people thinking about blue as a colour? Uh, and you can use that to start to gauge what people are maybe strong with and what they're not. There are special abilities that playing certain cards allow you to do. Binks the cat is here as a token, and he lets you put your cards face up in front of you on the table so everybody can see what you've got available. Uh, as soon as someone else plays Binks or it comes back around to your turn, he, his ability goes away. This game is dripping in flavour, okay? The artwork, the style, everything about it really evokes the movie. I think there's enough of a game here. You can play it with gamers and non-gamers. You can play it with younger children. You can play it with veterans, just making it a little bit more difficult by being even stricter on how you can communicate with each other. For the price tag, I think it's an absolute bargain. It's in stock now at firestormgames.co.uk. Links are in the description below.